Hi folks, welcome back. And uh, this is my third video, I think, uh, about my dual Xeon 2670 motherboard uh, PC build motherboard. So, as you can see, I've put it into the into my case, uh, which is the Corsair 900D. Um, quite frankly, one of the best cases I've ever used, just for, for its sheer flexibility. However, I think the Fractal R5 is an amazing case. Anyway, as you can see, um, what I've done, those 45 degree sticker notes are so I can see visually um, where I'm going to need 45 degree fittings. So I've got um, one there, one there, these are on the, on the rad, and the radio at the top. I've got one into um, processor 2. That goes in, processor one that comes out. Eventually, it's going to, it's going to go into um, the EK terminal. So it's going to um, bridge these two GPUs. That's going to be whoop, that's going to be 45 degree. That might don't know. That might still be a, a 90 maybe 45 I haven't decided yet but I've ordered a load of 45 degree fittings and another 90 just for a spare I think so the way the loop's going to work is res is here that's the res that's an inlet back there is the outlet I think I'm going to go all the way up to the top top of there and then it can go behind the case do, 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 do. and then that will hit that 45 degree go into the rad and then come out of this rad whoop, come out of that rad and then straight into processor 2 and then go into processor 1 then from processor 1 go into the GPU across the bridge another GPU and then come down and hit into um, the 240 rad I've got down here and moving that up got 240 yeah 240 rad down there so that's this is the out so that's the inlet that's the outlet um, yeah that's right and then that's going to go into this import for the for the reservoir so it's pretty much the same as my previous workstation which was the 3930k and that worked fine that's now in my uh, fractal r5 case and i'll just do that i'm doing editing on that at the moment so not a lot else i can do um, regarding focus not a, lot, so not a lot else i can do while this is waiting for those parts i'm going to um leak test it again loads of tissue loads of tissue loads of tissue uh, i'm going to add some lighting I don't know what to colour to do. So these, before you say, yeah, I know. So long story short, I was going to do green build. I put some green LEDs on it. It didn't look naff. It, well, it looked naff. Didn't like it. So now I'm kind of stuck with these. These are Corsair braided cables. They cost a load of money. I can't believe how much these things cost. So I'm kind of stuck with it. I intend to just flood the whole thing with with um, strong LEDs and just overpower it so it would just be one one color again probably be red I'm kind of liking purple at the moment so purple might be an option someone said they really hated my uh, my Rams I don't care it's fine um, this project was born out of bits and pieces so the only thing I've bought new um, is the two CPUs and the motherboard everything else I had in my old system so, oh no, and the fittings. I've had to buy some more fittings, but other than that, everything else has been salvaged from the or transferred from the old one. So I'm not gonna, I'm not about to buy a new RAM. Let me know what you think, guys. Comments below. Any suggestions you may have? Um, I may choose to action them. I may choose to ignore them. That's the kind of guy I am. So yeah, let me know. And comments below. Like if you like, and if you dislike, uh, let me know. Always good. Always like reading the comments. And that's it. See you in the next one. Oh, please subscribe. See ya.